YouTube, what's up, man? Today we're gonna go over something that's very important in Madden. Hopefully, try to help you guys game. Hope you guys get to scoring touchdowns instead of field goals. Because if you watch the club championship, man, that's all the announcers talked about between RG, Skimbo, Cookie, whatever they said, man. They said it's gonna come down to sevens and threes, and I couldn't agree more. If you watch any of my videos, I talk about that very often. And one thing we saw a lot was the high ball curl, man, the aggressive catch, Randy Moss, Julio Jones, Jerry Rice, high ball hitches, high ball curls, man. It's something that I've been doing pretty much the whole year is doing curl routes inside the 10-yard line. I hadn't necessarily haven't been high balling them, but uh, now I'm trying to incorporate that to my game, being as though I've seen so many of the great players use it, the high ball curl. And today I just want to show you guys a little bit uh, about something that I do with it and some of my philosophies behind the curl route inside the 10-yard line and how you can mix it into your game. It's really not a formation dependent thing. It's not a playbook dependent thing. You can pretty much do this out of anything. You can do it out of I formation, you know, single back big. You can do it out of five wide. You can do it out of whatever you really want to because it's pretty much just a concept. And that's a flat and a curl, man. It's pretty much been in football since passing has been invented. A flat route and a curl route, man. And really pick which one is open. But more often than not, we want to throw the curl route. We want to get Randy Moss the ball. We want to get Keyshawn Johnson the ball. We want to get Calvin Johnson the ball. We want to get Julio the ball. Our big receivers that can come down with a catch in traffic. And as much as, you know, the high ball is getting a little ridiculous, it is similar to what football teams do in real life. I have this goon receiver. I have Randy Moss. I have somebody that's going to come down with some tough catches. I want to get him the ball. Now, man, if you want to watch me play live, you can go ahead and hit the link below for my Twitch channel. Go watch me play all these weekend league games and all really trying to qualify for draft champions now i don't know if i want to play in the tournament but i'm definitely going to be playing on the leaderboards with everybody else because i love a leaderboard grind it's really something i enjoy but i'll show you let's get into really how i utilize the curls some of my philosophies man one of the biggest things i want to start with when i talk about the curls is the fact that one i like to put them on the outside obviously the biggest thing about throwing high balls in the end zone is you risk the tip up boom interception and the reason why i like to throw it to the outside is because because they're going to have so many people in the box because the run is always a threat inside the 10 yard line then you're going to have a little bit of less defenders on the outside maybe a one-on-one -on -one, maybe two defenders a flat zone or a deep zone or something over there you're not in the middle of the field when that thing tips up man it's all over the place and also the user is more often 99 percent of the time in the middle of the field but that being said, I like to pick a play that also has a post route or a hitch in the middle or some type of high ball to my tight end, to my one of my other receivers, so the user is in the middle of the field. You know, one of the biggest things in Madden when you first start playing, you tend to really throw the ball to the middle of the field the most. And once you learn how to throw the ball to the outsides a little bit more effectively away from the user, you're going to become a better Madden player. And uh, like I said, so pick a play. I'm going to use bunch verticals because it has the tight end wheel route. It has the post route from the slot receiver. Both of them you can high ball in the back of the end zone. So that's going to occupy our opponent's user. Now we just have to attack the sideline. Now, obviously, with verticals, you can attack the sideline with the wheel route. We saw plenty of people throw high ball wheel routes here in uh, the Madden Club Championship. But I'm going to show you guys how I use a curl route to, you know, to kind of get some cheap touchdowns and pass the ball inside the 10-yard line. Now, my main philosophy with the curl route, if I'm between the 5 and the 10, I want my curl route to be in the front of the end zone. If I'm inside the 5-yard line, the 4-yard line, 3-yard line, whatever, my curl route is going to be in the back of the end zone. That's something you have to remember. Not necessarily smart routing, but the one thing I want to do is if, if I'm, like I said, if I'm outside the 5, if I'm on the 6, the 7, whatever it may be, I want my curl route to be in the front of the end zone. So if I am on the 6, I might smart route it so it sits right there, right in front of the end zone. Because if you're in that area, 5 to 10, you're going to want to catch these curls in front of zones. But if you're inside the 5, you want to be behind the zones, getting the high ball, bang, catching the ball, coming down with it in traffic. I'm going to use Alshon Jeffrey in this video, so let's go ahead and get into this video. Like I said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and use bunch verticals. I mean, obviously, like I said, it has the, the vertical route to the middle receiver. It has the tight end wheel, and it has the wheel to the outside. I'm going to occupy all the users. What I do in practice mode, I just go random defense, just trying to make a read after that. What I want to do is put Sproles on a flat. That's going to take any flat defenders out of the way. Like I said, I'm on the eight-yard line. I want this ball in front of that DB, and then you I throw it. I actually throw that down, and I hold Y. Why do I hold Y? It's to get 
get in front of the receiver, chase them, come to the, come back to the ball more than the DB. That's just real life principles. You won't want that DB jumping in front of you. Here we go for the high ball. Alshon Jeffrey comes down, catches it. It's one on one over there on the left side. I told you that's why I like throwing it over here to the left. Once again, low ball, hold Y, pretty much hold Y on all these catches. Come back in front of the DB. There, it's just too many people on them, and we see our flat routes wide open. Got to take those yards, get a little bit closer to the end zone. Here's just a little cover three match. We're going to let him sit. He's sitting in front of the DB, throw it low, hold wide, come back. It's not a touchdown, but you'll get into that area where you can fullback dive or you can quarterback sneak. There we go. We see the high ball again, the Alshon. A lot of cover three opponents running. I said just right in front of him, boom, catch it right there, touchdown. You see, because of that flat route we put Sproles on, the flat route is nowhere to be found. Number 20 is in a flat, and he he has to guard the running back. And that's what allows Alshon to get this one-on-one -on -one over here. I'm throwing it in front. I'm throwing it high. Just make the read. It's kind of like basketball, man. If you let Alshon box him out, he's going to make a play. And like I said, here we go. We're inside the five now. Now I want this curl route to the back of the end zone. That's cover two. That's a deep blue cover two. He's behind him. Throw it high. Alshon is 6'3". Whatever receiver you have on your team that can make plays like this, Put him in position to make the best possible plays, and you will have the best possible outcomes coming down here to try to get touchdowns. You see Alshon Jeffrey, I believe that was cover two again. Just really tough to defend both the front of the end zone and the back of the end zone. This little cover three match, two, double coverage. Alshon Jeffrey comes down with it. Alshon is good, but he's not Randy Moss. He's not Calvin Johnson. He's not the type of players that you guys have on your mutt teams. So hopefully you guys can go ahead and use this curl route philosophy to go ahead and score touchdowns inside the 10-yard line and win more Madden games.